the Donald deal. It was funny. Yeah. You and I saw each other. We, we were kind of hanging out for the Super Bowl in the press box and we're talking. We got on the subject of Donald and Jerry and I were like, yeah, yeah this is about money, right? This is retirement. Like, this is, this is totally a money thing. And, you know, of course, no, you know, it's 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 I, I'm really serious thinking about retiring. He's like, you know, yeah. crossing this idea. He wants to spend more time with his family. Yeah. Um, you know, all these different things. But at the end of the day, it was so clear and obvious that the deal he was locked into was so yeah. sub-market for where right. it was going. What was remarkable to me was I thought the $30 million mark was was significant. Like that was sort of what I yeah. said last week. It's what I said a couple of weeks ago. Look, look at the $30 million mark. That's a big barrier. That's a yeah. that's a that's a landmark moment for a defensive yeah. player. They surpassed it by one, you know, in average. I mean, and yeah. I think if he wants to, he'll earn all three years of the restructure. Thirty-one point six. If he if he wants to, yeah. you know, go through three years, that's what the average would be. Um, it's I I think it's really interesting because now I called it quarterback money because it yeah. it would it would make him I think the twelfth highest paid quarterback in the league. Yeah. And teams that have a top twelve quarterback do struggle with that number because they're like we're locking ourselves in this franchise guy. Yeah you know, the guaranteed money, all this stuff. Well, now I think you're sitting there and you're looking at the most elite of elite defensive players. We're talking the top two, three, four guys. Yeah. I think now all feasibly become $30 million guys. And so teams have to grapple with, yeah. especially if they have a good quarterback, they have yeah. to grapple with, holy shit, like, do we, do we pay this? Do we pay this money or do we do the unthinkable, which is what we've seen some teams do this off season and go, Let's see what he's worth on the market. Like Seattle, I do think part of the reason why Seattle traded Russell Wilson is because they know what that next contract negotiation is going to yeah. look like, and it's going to yeah. be ugly. And yeah. they're they they're like we're we're not paying this guy fifty million dollars. No. And they were already at odds, you know. Like yeah, was, and they were already it wasn't right. tenable. Yeah. yeah, and so I I I wonder if some of these teams, depending obviously on the the age of the defensive elite defensive player who yeah. they're talking about, and then depending on where the quarterback is, are you on a rookie deal? Is it is an aging veteran deal? Are you in the sweet spot of of you know like it, it's it's like if you're doing like Chris Jones, you're sitting there going, "Holy shit, we already got to pay Patrick Mahomes forty five million a year." Yeah. Um, I I wonder if now this puts teams into a position where you know we thought forever elite quarterbacks or top you know five six seven quarterbacks wouldn't get traded. Now that happens. Mm -hmm. Um, and now I wonder if maybe elite defenders, we, we might as well, I mean, if we've already said some quarter, um, almost everybody's available with quarterbacks, there's a spare yeah. few that aren't, maybe we get to a point where everybody's available with the defenders too. Yes. I, this, yeah, this is a fascinating discussion. There are a lot of layers to it because you're talking about like, where's the salary cap going to be like these players are hoping and teams to an extent are hoping, Hey, let's get to that $250 million mark or surpass yep. it. So we have just more cushion for these deals. I, I think you're going to see teams following the Rams closely, what they do here. Um, and because they've been all in on the model of, okay, we want all-star, you know, blue chip players, five or six, seven guys. And then we'll backfill with comp picks and, you know, taking flyers on young players that better produce. Right. Uh, and that's a dangerous place to be, but I think they're counting on Sean McVay and Lesney to kind of make that work from an evaluation standpoint. Not every team can do that, but I think that's the model, right? If you get it, you know, and it depends on how good a guy is. Like Cooper Cup, top two receiver, easily. Aaron Donald, probably best player in football. Matthew yep. Stafford, top six quarterback, probably. So, yep. like, it depends on the guy. If you're number 12 at your position, like, eh, okay, I don't know if we're going to, you know, like, I don't know if we're going to make that call uh, the same way. So, you know, Rams just have, are in an enviable spot of just having really, really elite talent all over the field. Um, and so, but it's like, think about this. Think about these ripples. I was talking to somebody about this. You got Joe Burrow in Cincinnati, um, Justin Herbert in LA, Lamar Jackson in Baltimore, all need yeah. massive new deals. Not Lamar Jackson right now, but Burrow and Herbert down the road. Yeah. I wouldn't say those are teams where you have an owner that's just willing to spend billions yep. on the dime. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yep. Like, yeah. <laughs> I think it depends, like, especially Cincinnati. Like, is he going to want to pay Joe Burrow $50 million a year? I, I don't know. Mike Brown, is he going to do that? Like, it depends. Now we're talking tendencies of ownership level what they're willing to uh, tolerate from a financial standpoint of players and that's i think that's what it, that's where you could see some of the you could see even bigger trades like is joe burrow going to get traded no but because of the dynamics we're talking about would it absolutely shock me if he's one day traded no 
just because, you know, the, the money has to talk at that point. Well, and I even think that's, we've already kind of seen that with, and even though I think this deal is going to get done, but I truly honestly believe the Bidwill family and Kyler Murray, yeah. part of why they've, you know, Eric Burkhart, Kyler Murray's agent, he's moved across swords so publicly and quickly. Yeah. It's part of because he knows the owner he's dealing with. Well, like this, he's like sitting there going, do I really yeah. think this owner is going to want to pay 40 plus 45 million a year for my guy? 